Many native cultures believe that water births all things, which is true. Here in the Hawaiian Islands, water is very, very important. Because when you talk about birthing, you talk about our children. And uh, surfing kids, family, Ohana has uh, come together, especially for Mr. Dave Kalama, our residence expert in surfing. Aloha, Dave. Nice to see you, Branscombe. You know, uh, he did a very special thing. We want everybody out there to know about this. And for a moment, we're going to talk about the connection between Dave and autism. Tell me how many children are birthed with autism, first of all. I believe it's approximately one in every uh, 165, 150, something like that. And it's much more prevalent now than it's ever been in history. And that's why there's such a concern about it. And you and Laird, right, had an idea. And tell me, because this was for a friend, so I'm going to let you roll with the story. Go for it. Well, Laird, um, our, one of our best friends, who happens to be our main cinematographer uh -huh. in all the movies we do, has a son, Bo, that is autistic and he is producing a documentary about his experience in raising his son and that's called Beautiful Son and he needed money to finish his picture and Laird's idea was to paddle and pedal from London to Paris oh my God. and so that's what he did unfortunately I couldn't make the trip but he got inspired while he was doing it I got inspired just thinking about it and watching him and hearing about it, and hearing about it that we both almost simultaneously said let's do Hawaii sure. and keep raising the money for Don and keep bringing awareness uh, to autism and that's what we did. We, we started on the south point of the big island of Hawaii and we worked all, our, all the way across the island chain to Kilauea Lighthouse on Kauai and what that is the most southern point to the most northern point in the Hawaiian chain. Leg number one was done how? Leg number one was our bicycles from south point up to the northwest point of the Big Island, which was a 120 mile ride. Oh my gosh. We started at 5.30 in the afternoon and rode till 1.30 at night. And that was perhaps the toughest leg for me. I bet. In the, in the water, I can swim. Right. I can do okay. I'll survive there <laughs> on land on my bike. Whew. That, that was a... Was it flat the whole way or was there hills or... No. It was rough, huh? couple of the biggest volcanoes in the whole island chain over there so there's bound to be a little uphill right sure <laughs> but uh, for every uphill there's a downhill yep. and we made it and then uh, got about three hours of sleep that night leg number two leg number two big island to Maui on the stand-up paddle boards really and that took approximately eight and a half hours I believe um, how, how many miles was that that I believe was 34 miles standing up standing up uh, no, actually that was 40 miles. That was 40 miles that day. As you can imagine, plenty of sleep and plenty of food that night. Oh, man. <laughs> well, first of all, I want to talk about that lake. Okay. Any sea life following you guys, if you know what I mean? No. No. Surprisingly, no. And, and I was prepared mentally, and both of us anticipated seeing something, you know, swimming around. Sure. But uh, we were very fortunate. No, uh, no visitors of any consequence, let's say. Absolutely. Maybe a couple of dolphins helping you lead the way. Did you see any of that? Uh, plenty, no, plenty of flying fish. Right. Um, that was basically it. That's all we saw, some Malolo flying around. Wow. <laughs> so now you're on Maui, and what happens in Maui? Maui, refuel the body, Right. set up the bikes, and six in the morning back on the road. Riding to the west side of Maui. Actually, that was a big day. We rode to the west side of Maui, we paddled to Molokai, and then we rode our bikes across Molokai all in one day. Finished uh, 10 at night on a full moon. It was, it was beautiful. That was, the, that was the most memorable part of the whole thing, was riding my bike across Molokai in the full moon. Oh my gosh. Nobody but you, yourself, and I, right. and just, boy, the mana, the, the feeling you get on Molokai is incredible. Your body is still holding up, though. You're not psyching yourself out or you're psyched out. I mean, you know, because your body talks to you up here. It does. But the difference is, and what makes it possible, is we're not racing. So you can find a pace that you can live with. Sure. The guys that do the Ironman on the Big Island, I don't think we could hold that pace. But gotcha. you find something you can live with, and you just keep going. And having Laird right there, the ultimate peer pressure. Oh, man. <laughs> Pushes you the whole way. The whole time. Come the on, whole buddy. time. Oh, so, uh... You can't come off the accelerator when you're around him, unfortunately. Was there a last leg now? Was that? Are we at the last leg, or am I too early? No, by now we're on the west side of Molokai. Um, I timed it so that I could jump in with my canoe crew, and we did the Molokai Ho, the canoe race. Wow. And 
let's see. So we did the we did the canoe race to Oahu. We or I got on my bike, rode across to Oahu that same day. Sure. So you can imagine at the end of that day, I was real tired. Kauai. Kauai is about 18 hours later. Slept most of that 18 hours. Uh, the only waking time was to eat food, and then we started for Kauai at 10:30 at night. All for autism. Two extreme athletes trying to help a buddy. You know, I mean, that's the most important uh, message to me. That to, you know, no matter if you have autism or something else. But you know, where are we now? Where's your friends? Are, are, are they getting closer to some type of, not, maybe not a cure, but uh, maybe other guys saying, let's continue this fight? Uh, there is progress, and they're finding out um, that diet, uh, medicine, sure. all of it can have a big effect. And while they're not really using the word cure yet, right. there is bringing these kids back a ways so that they can have a more normal childhood you know and some just like everybody some cases are more extreme than others and some that are maybe in the middle you can recover those children back a bit and and make a lot of progress well me personally i feel that's uh, most important uh, i'm so lucky i got my first grandson and uh, he he is fine and uh, we just want to say aloha to you because i mean doing something like this uh boy i don't know if i could ride a bicycle for an hour <laughs> I'm going to try. I'm going to try to get on the next leg. Just start at the top of the hill and ride for an hour down. And please, <laughs> nobody get in my way. You know what I mean? Hey, many blessings to all of you out there. May your family be nice and healthy. And we, let's help those that are uh, maybe not as fortunate as us. Uh, from the island of Ho Maui, uh, islands of Hawaii, we send aloha to you. We're going to be right back right after this. Thank you, Dave. Big Wave Surfer on Maui, and you're watching MauiToday.tv.